started sales at, a, at the age of eight, going through the community, selling snacks and whatnot to be able to go to school. And uh, uh, my father was in the military, so that was one of my goals also, to get into the military here, uh, which I did. I spent five years in the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force here. Uh, moved on to another government ministry where I was, you know, a service again to people. And my life always seemed to be just service to people all the time. You know, I had a couple of traditional businesses. I bought and sold cars. I had ice cream shops. I had a food business. You know, a, a couple of different things. But I, I was always looking for a way out of my situation. And uh, by God's grace, <laughs> I've, I've, I've found it. <laughs> You know, so that's just a little bit of me, and um, I'm married now for over 10 years. I have four wonderful children. Uh, Fitz had the opportunity to meet myself and my wife, and I'm looking forward to meeting up a whole lot of you guys also. Wow. Clifton, you know what? Um, that was incredible. I, I, I think, you know, uh, and, you know, that's just a little snippet, you know. Um, I know there's not that's enough a- time to really go into the full flavor of things, but, you know, what, we, what I want to know, um, um, Clifton, um, from what we can see, very difficult um, starting up, upbringing and finding your feet. You, you've been in FM since 2010, um, the same year I yes. joined. And that's seven years. Um, and, you know, they, they say that if you've been in any business for five years or more, you, you naturally become an expert. And if, if you've been in a business for that length of time, it definitely shown that, you know, you, you've definitely earned your stripes. What was your journey, journey like to get to where you are today? The journey, I would say, has, it was really, really uh, a, a, a real awesome journey, I must say. And uh, there's actually a, a quotation, because I do a little bit of writing also, and there's a quote that I have that says, enjoy your journey, the destinations are just extras. And uh, I've learned to really appreciate whatever journey that I'm on, and my seven-year journey with FM, uh, I mean, Many ups and downs, uh, I'll share with you guys in a bit, but the, the valuable relationships that were built throughout the seven years, you know, the education that I received, the personal development, you know, all of this has just been a very amazing one. You know, the opportunity to wake up and know that there is, there is hope, there is something to live for, it has just made the journey so, so, so awesome, Fitz, to be honest with you. Wow, um, that absolutely fantastic there. And, and, and Clifton, what, what, the golden question, um, as, 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 as I just scroll through, because um, I, I'm just wary of any background noise, I want us to hear everything that you have to say. Um, we don't want to miss even one word. So if you are new and you're joining, I'm meeting people as quick as I can. Can you take your mics? Just, just bear with me, Clifton. I'll find out who's yes, right. Yes, no problem, no problem. Um, can, may I say you to meet your mic? Who is that? Okay. Thank you. Um, Edwin, can you meet your mic, please? Sorry to have to call you out. I can't see you. Edwin, meet your mic for me, please. Okay, that one's done. Okay, that's it. Brilliant stuff. Excellent. Okay, um, Clifton, let me find because I, I, I've got to say this and look into your eyes, you see. I can't just say it normally, so I'm going to scroll through. I'll put you on gallery view. I'm going to look into your eyes and look into the eyes of our members. Can I actually to meet your mic? Um, yeah, okay. Can I meet your mic? Can everyone check and mute your mics? Let me check. All right. Fiona, whose mic is unmuted. All right, let me see. Um, okay, I think we're all done. Thank you, everybody. Much appreciated. Makes my life a lot easier. There's a lot of people on the Zoom tonight, um, Clifton. That's, <laughs> a of, that's a lot of mics to be unmuting. Thank so you. where are you? So there you are. So I'm going to look you dead in the eye, Clifton. And this is yes. my dead in the eye question. Um, because I know you, I know you always tell the truth. Because you're you're a God fearing person, so you you always indeed, tell the sir. truth. Indeed, <laughs> Clifton Ryan, Mister Amaranth Orchid. Yes. What did you do to get to Amaranth Orchid? <laughs> what actions did you and your team do to get to Amaranth Orchid? And you you can't just tell me that. You've got to you've got to give us a little bit of flavour because you've been a pearl orchid um, for some time. And you had some real difficulties, but we'll come to the difficulties in a, a little while. But what I want to know is, what did you and your team do? What actions did you take to get to where you are today? Well, 
But Fitz, I want to be very honest with you, right? Uh, and, and this is my dead in the eye answer. <laughs> the first thing I'd have to say, and, and I want everybody to listen to this really carefully. The most important thing fits is, is really and truly not the things that I've done, but it's something that I did not do that took me to Amaran Orchid. I want everybody to listen to this carefully. I did not quit. So it's not what I've done, it's what I did not do. I did not quit. Seven years, many ups and downs. We're going to go into the challenges a little bit, but I did not quit. FM has a proven business system for you to just plug into and follow. And as long as you decide to follow the system, learn. It's an acronym that I, I use here in Trinidad and Tobago for my team, and it's LAT, L-A-T. Learn, apply, teach. Learn this business as much as you possibly can from every single team member, leader, executive, videos, every single thing that you could possibly learn from. Learn this business. Apply the things that you've learned. And where the explosion comes is when you are able to now pass this information on to your teachings. You must be able to teach to your team members. So I learned the business, I applied the things that I've learned, and then I taught it. Yeah? Now, if you want to get uh, a, a straight system that we've used, there is something that I do called System 7. I will come to the system, Clifton. I've got that. I've got a system line. I've got a system question lined up. Uh, we'll, we'll come to that. Just hold that for me. I've got the system lined up. I want to know the LAT, learn, apply, and teach. I, I think Excellent. A wonderful Excellent. Um, acronym. Excellent. Um, Thank you. We'll come to the system. That'll be a later part. You know, we don't want to give everybody the full flavor. You know, we want to keep, a little bit of <laughs> stuff, keep people hanging on just a little bit, just a little bit. Excellent. Excellent. This is, I think this is the question really that's really going to hit home. Seven years in FM, um, 2010 you joined. You yes. told me you rose to 21% per orchid. I think Irene is your sponsor, direct sponsor. Correct. Okay, so you've got a fabulous uh, driving force there in the UK, but you face yes. many, many challenges in Trinidad and Tobago. And that is correct. Tell us about those challenges and those difficulties and how did you overcome them? Well, so I'll tell you this. Um, Irina actually is, is now my direct sponsor because one of the challenges that I faced here was my sponsor actually moving on to a new business opportunity. And uh, I just had to rise to the occasion. But I'll take you guys back just a little bit. We live in a country that there is not an established FM office. So it was very difficult for us at the beginning to really, you know, uh, build or establish anything where FM is concerned because it's a new company, it's a new brand, you know, it's a new product line. Nobody knows about this company or the products. And uh, uh, basically, it was just a few of us, uh, six core leaders that we had here that really just had a very high level of belief that we could have built this uh, business. And so we started off. But uh, one of the first challenges that we faced here was the person that uh, had uh, the, the franchise that was bringing the products to the country. That person, uh, for mis mismanagement or some other things that happened, uh, no longer had the franchise and we were out of having a supply of the products. That was one of the biggest challenges that we faced in the past. Then uh, we sourced a new supplier, which was uh, the Chicago office, USA, and the business started up again. Products were quite expensive here because it was very expensive to ship for us. But uh, we believed in what we were saying and what we were doing. So we just continued, you know, giving the information, educating people. And, you know, because of our level of belief, you know, people trusted us and came on board with us. You know, I built to 21% in seven months. And uh, in 2012, yeah, <laughs> thank you. And in 2012, uh, the new person that was supplying us with the products, he got the franchise 
and uh, he decided that he was going to move on to a new business also, uh, leaving us without uh, a supply of the product for a second time. Now, this time when it happened, it was really, really uh, a disaster here for me because all of my investments was into this uh, company. I, I put everything into it. I was flying to different islands, Grenada, Barbados, St. Lucia, and really, you know, putting FM out there. I was really exposing. All of my capital was consumed, and I was now in a position, no money. The business that I thought I was just going to go pull orchid or amaranth orchid and start making some decent commissions, <laughs> it just went, you know. And uh, I had to decide something, and I, I ended up in the insurance industry for three years. But in 2014, we connected again with Irina Oliver, my upline connected with her. We made a trip to Poland and whatnot, and uh, him and Irina connected in the UK, and we, we got back on track. Again, the products were very expensive shipping from the UK to Trinidad. But I said to myself, it doesn't matter what it takes, we are going to build this business anyway. And it's a quotation that I live by that says, if your why is big enough, the facts doesn't count. If your why is big enough, the facts doesn't count. And that's one of the things that helped me through all the challenges that we had here. So we got back up and running again. And uh, two years later, my sponsor was introduced to a new opportunity and decided to move on. Now, he was the individual who was basically funding the whole operation here. He was bringing the products and, you know, support from Irina Oliver. You know, he had the connections with the persons in the UK office and all these different things. You know, we had some small relations also, but not as with him. So I ended up in a situation where I had to do something. I had to do something fast because he invited me to the company with him and I declined. And he began inviting some of my team members also. So I, I had to do something and do something fast. You know, I, I said, you know what? I've been seeing people like Fitzgerald Mensah and they on, on YouTube and Facebook and whatnot you know, uh, Pam Stevens and Irina and Gidamina. So I said, you know what, I need to make a trip to London and rub shoulders with some of the successful people that are involved in this business, the people that are making it happen, and let people also see me in some posts on Facebook with these people because it's going to give some social proof and help to regain the confidence in me, the confidence in the company, everything. So I left my rent unpaid. My lights weren't paid. My phone bill wasn't, I didn't pay anything. I didn't even make groceries that month, last year, October. And I left my wife at home with four children and I flew all the way to the UK just to be at the event. I took everything that I had just to be at the event. And I did that. I was struggling to maintain 9% by the way at that time. Struggling to maintain 9%. Um, I had hit 15%, but I was struggling to maintain 9%. But something happened at that event that really turned things around for me and for my business. So I thank God that I made the decision and I followed through with it to be at the event and hear all the great speakers and all the motivation, meet Mr. Arthur Churinsky himself. He presented me my 15% certificate at the time. And before I got back home, the few posts that I had on Facebook, people were already connecting with me you know, asking me what's going on. I'm seeing you in the UK, you know, I'm seeing FM is big, you know, what's going on, you know, talk to me. And uh, that really helped. And coming back to Trinidad, I, I, I held a meeting. As soon as I came back, I contacted as many persons as possible. And every single week, I had two, three, four meetings happening in my living room. It's very small. But people were coming there every single day, you know, persons were connecting with me. And uh, uh, from there, I started seeing some growth. Still had no investments, was still struggling a whole lot, but I continued to pursue besides what, you know, despite what, I just continued pursuing. And uh, by God's grace, there was one individual I could see uh, who really created a real explosion in my business. And I'll tell you guys, it doesn't matter who the person is, keep a good relationship. I recruited a guy over two years ago and all he would do is buy 199 all the time. That's it, himself. That's it. He just buys 199. 
I introduced him to the car products. He just bought some car products, but that was it. But he's a big, influential guy in Trinidad and Tobago. One night, he looked at a video from FM, and that was it. He watched videos till 4 a.m., and then he called me the next morning, and he said, Clifton, I'm ready to build this business. And from that point, everything began turning around. So all the challenges that you face, you stay true to what you believe in this business, what you believe in your upline, what you believe in yourself, believe in your dreams and goals. And these challenges will soon become a thing of the past. Yeah? So there are a whole lot more inside of there, but I can't share all with you guys because we have a very short time on this call. But there's so much more. And when I meet up with you guys, I could probably share some more stories. Wow. So you want to my dives next year, God's willing. So wow. talk. <laughs> Clifton, well, you know what? I have unlimited Zoom, so we can have your own night, but, you know, we, we, don't want to, we don't want to keep people here all night. But, no, Clifton, I, 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 firstly, we, we, have to, we have to recap on that. Um, Firstly, that touched me so much. I would, I felt some tears kind of filling up behind my eyes, you know. And you know, I want to, I want to try and be a manly man, so you know, prevent myself from crying. But real men cry, Fitz. Real men cry. Oh yeah, I cry in secret. Um, <laughs> it, it touched me so much because it reminded me, and I'm sure it touched a lot of the people, a lot of the business partners on tonight, because it will resonate and re people can relate to that sort of struggle. But your struggle is a struggle and a half. I mean, my gosh, if you had said you, you quit or wanted to quit, I probably would say, you know what, I, I probably agree with you on this time because talk about challenges. Let me recap. Firstly, your, your, your original sponsor left to another business. Um, you're in Trinidad and Tobago. There's no branch. Um, the no. franchise opened, then closed. Um, you, you had a franchise open in Chicago, but it was too expensive and you probably trouble trying to sell the products or uh, refer them on, and hence, you know, you're struggling to maintain 9%. You had another yeah. sponsor who was dynamic and who had the finances, who were bringing the business back, so you're up and running again. And then he leaves to go to another business. And to yes. add salt to the wound, he starts to take some of the other leaders and business partners with him and leave you kind of open and dry. So really, your success came when you were nearly on your knees when you could not pay the household bills, the lighting, and you said to yourself, I've got to success breeds success. I've got to be around successful people to ignite my why and my passion and my dreams. And you took everything you had, left your wife with the fortune to come to the UK to meet, um, you know, um, Irina, Gediminas and Pam and the other rising stars, which fueled you. And that was the catalyst for you. And that made yes. all the difference. And hence you found your, your superstar that was lying dormant just by 199 occasionally. <laughs> and so all of a sudden he woke up. That, that is amazing, Clifton. Honestly, I, I, I'm just going to clap for you and everybody on here would clap for you. I, I clap for you. I thought, yeah. I, thought my, I thought my challenges were difficult, but you know, my challenges are nothing compared to you. I mean, I, I think and, when I get upset, um, we're, we're there in the UK. We can hardly, sometimes it's a struggle to get people to come to the branch. So struggle to get people to come to the conference and they live just down the road. And, and I think it's the fact that sometimes when you have everything there available for you on your doorstep, we in the UK, we don't utilize it enough. Because it's there, we say, okay, we'll order tomorrow. Because it's there, we'll do it next week. You didn't have it there. You, had, you couldn't afford to say we'll do it next week. You just had to be on it and you were on it. So full, really commend you, Clifton, you and your team. That is what you call grit. That's what you call tenacity. That is what you call a winning attitude. And that's what you call hunger. Willingness to succeed at all costs, whatever it takes. And for that, you get my star of the month, man. And you're not even in my team. I'm going to give you <laughs> star of the month for my team. So thank you. And guys, thank you. we've got a lot of people tuning in because this is not no joke. This is, we've got 40, 40 plus people on the Zoom tonight. Guys, it's not often we get to grab Clifton you know, please share some comments, type a message. We will have time for questions and answers. But what you just said, trust me, just lifted me up a whole... I was feeling a little bit tired, thinking what I'm going to do. I just feel we focused right now, just because of what you said. So thank you very much. So I'll just close myself no and go back into interview mode. So <laughs> a bit of emotions there. So I'm okay now. Thank you. Clifton, 
-hmm. what, um, what common mistakes should we as business partners in FM, should we avoid? Hmm. This, is, this, is, this is a very interesting question, Fitz, because uh, there, there are so many of them. Give us that, three. That, Give us three. That, that people, yeah, you know, normally make. And um, one, of, one of those mistakes, I would say, firstly, it's very simple, but it's a very big mistake to make because it's at the very start of your business. And if you have trouble at the very start, then, I mean, where, where could you really get to? And that is simply not learning your business. Simple. People don't take time to even log on to the web shop and see what is there for them. They don't log into their back offices, you know, to learn and understand the dynamics of the thing. They don't familiarize themselves with their business because I don't know if it's probably they don't even really see their business as a viable business opportunity. You know, it's just something that they're doing on the side. You know, because you call it, you know, additional income, they, they, they say, you know, I'm doing something on the side, not really realizing the magnitude of it. So they don't read the catalog. They don't read the marketing plan. They don't uh, log into the, the back office. There's so much interesting information inside there. Please, folks, don't make that mistake. And your team members, when they're coming on board, encourage them. Get on to the, the, the back office and read and learn and understand the business. That's one. Uh, Another mistake that persons make is uh, they, they try to bring their outside experience into network marketing. You know, they're very talented in whatever industry that they're involved in. They're very skilled, you know, and uh, they come in here. Not saying that what you know can't add value, but our industry is a very unique industry. It's a very simple system to follow. And if you try to play too bright for the system, then you're going to fool yourself out of the system. So when you come into network marketing, you need to humble yourself. You have an upline. I don't care if your upline is one day older than you in the business. That's the person that introduced you to the business. Humble yourself to this person, whether you are a doctor, you are a rocket scientist, whatever you are. Humble yourself to this person and simply learn the business. You must humble yourself. If you come in here with your... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, IQ too high, you might end up in some problems, yeah? Uh, the third, uh, another mistake, uh, the third mistake that some people make is not attending functions. Every single meeting is important. Every single meeting. This meeting here right now is a very important meeting. Every weekly presentation, every training event, anniversary, conference, anything that the company is doing, this is your business. You need to be a part of it. You need to understand the dynamics of it. You need to learn the people that are involved in the business. So please do not make the mistake and miss any function. I normally tell my team members, I never miss a meeting. Mm -hmm. The reason really is because I'm the one that is always hosting the meeting, right? But the truth is, I, I don't miss them. And if I could be there, I have made my sacrifices to be there. You want success in this business, you need to make the extra sacrifice to be there. I'll give you one quick story. There's a sister isle to Trinidad, which is Tobago. And last week, Monday, I flew across there, just a 20-minute flight. And when I got to the presentation, while it's setting up, an individual came to us and she said, I was invited to this presentation by someone in Trinidad. She said, but I'm not staying because I live very far from here. I said, oh, really, you do? She says, yes. I said, okay, is it two hours from here? She says, no, not so far. Probably an hour and something. I said to her, okay, um, I just flew from Trinidad to come to do this meeting just for you. Have a seat and enjoy the meeting, please. She, she couldn't respond to that. Because I, I drove my car from where I live to the airport, got on a plane, got to Tobago, drove another car from the airport to the location, and you're telling me that you live too far. So don't make any excuse. Just get to the functions. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Clifton, wow. What, what can I say? Um, fantastic. Um, you know, what wonderful things, guys. Avoid those three things at all costs. Um, Clifton, I'll recap on that um, in, in a minute. Um, absolutely, you know, what you just touched on, you know. And what I like about you, you there's a, 
I, I know you know when you're doing your presentation, you're the ultimate professional. You're you're you know you're suave. You know you you've you just got that magic touch. But I like the way you're talking. You're just talking raw because we we're, we're asking raw. We're asking you know you're hitting the truth right now. You know I can see the emotions coming up, and you know that, that those pains, the joys and the pains of your journey is coming out, and that's what we want. You know, and that's what's really connecting with 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 us on on this Zoom tonight. So thank you so much. So these are definitely mistakes to avoid, and I know there's many many more, but you know, there's not enough time to go through all. Um, keep the comments coming and um, questions. Um, we'll look at them um, near the end. Now, Mr. Clifton Ryan, this is the one. This is the biggie. Um, what we want to know with everything that you've told us, all the challenges, mm -hmm. and we know you've got the go hard dynamic attitude of we will succeed at all costs. What strategies and what team strategies did your team use? to help you to get to where you are. And following that, what tips and advice can you share with us tonight? So what are the strategies you I know you're a big follower of Brian Carruthers. He, you know, somebody you follow, his teachings, and you, you give me a wonderful synopsis of some of the things you do, especially the cold, cold, cold call party. And you know, so what sort of oh, strategies were you and your team doing? What sort of actions? And what tips and advice can you give us here tonight? Okay. So, um, well, I, I am a big fan of Brian Carruthers. I, I love, he's one of the top winners in the network marketing industry and um, one of the most humble top winners that I've ever seen also. And, you know, that, that's me. I, I try to maintain that level of humility. So that's why I connected really with Brian Carruthers. So I've read his book, Building an Empire, and I follow him a lot. And in that book, I saw that he has a system that he uses so basically what I did, I just took that system and I tweaked it for our market here, you know, for our uh, culture, basically, and what I know could work for us here. So uh, it's, it's, it's a simple seven steps. And, uh, well, one of my team members, uh, who was a pool orchid back then in FM, and he's back now and already at 12% and going hard, he named it System 7. So it was coined by Mr. Gavin Hayward, System 7. And uh, the system is a very simple system. So simple to do that it's also so simple not to do. Well, basically the very first thing is to just be excited. Guys, your excitement sells. You can't go deadbeat to talk to anybody about your product or your business opportunity. They wouldn't they, they want, they, they want to hear you. So you must be excited. Step two, write your goals. If you don't know where you are going, you could find yourself anywhere. So write your goals down. Be very specific about these goals. Stick them up on a wall, get a picture, stick them up, do something. Step three is to build a list of names. If you are getting involved in business, then you must be organized. So you have a list of names of persons that you would like to share your business opportunity with. And some of them you know you may have to share your product with first before you could actually lead them into the business. So write a list of names. Step four, book your PBR. We, we call it a PBR. It's a private business reception. We encourage every new member to launch their business. There's another network marketing guru that I follow, and he said amateurs join a business, but professionals launch a business. So you want to launch your business, all right? So you have like a grand opening. And your upline helps you with that. So I've helped a number of my team members to call the list of names that they have, all right, I'll talk about that in a little bit, call the list of names that they have and invite persons out to their PBR. So we put people in their living room or in their garage, you know, wherever they have the space to, to fit them, five persons, 10 persons, 15 persons, we bring them in. We do a very simple presentation and have a product display, have persons try the products, you know, sample, you know, uh, and get persons involved in your business, get you having your first uh, one or two customers to get, help you get off the ground, basically. So book your PBR. Uh, step five, after booking your PBR, contact and invite, which is what the upline does with you. Uh, step six is to attend every weekly presentation, training, function, event, Zoom call, whatever is happening. That's a part of the system. You need to be plugged into it. And step seven is the most important step. Step seven 
Listen carefully, folks, and if you're making notes, write this in caps. Step seven, don't quit. Step seven, don't quit. Now, I know some of you probably missed what I said because it was some, something so simple and you were probably looking for something more juicy, but that is it. <laughs> it's very simple. Follow those seven steps. That's what I do with my team. I know you guys probably have your system with your upline and whatnot. You guys have different strategies that you use, but this is my strategy that I use with my team and we get the results. What I've also done is also create the environment. So I do Zoom calls every week, once a week. I do Zoom calls with my team members. And uh, I also have a weekly business presentation. As a matter of fact, twice a week, every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, my team know where we're going to be every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. And we have enough space there to fit like 70 persons in that room. So they know every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, that's where we are. Every Saturday, we kind of relax a little bit and get into some activity. So we dress up on a Tuesday night, but Saturday we kind of relax a little bit and get into some activity. We do one hour of phone calls every Saturday. So it's a, a few distributors come together and we feel on each other's energy. Everybody's on the phone making calls, inviting to a Zoom call, inviting to a business presentation, inviting for a one-on-one, -on -one, inviting to share the video. Everyone is doing that. The beautiful part of it is support system this strategy is one that is very crucial. We call it the third party. Your friends and relatives are too familiar with you to listen to anything that you have to say. They know all of the nonsense you did while you were growing up, and they lose some respect for you, right? All of the dirty tricks you had, they know it. So they, they kind of lose some respect for you. They still love you and they're there with you, but they wouldn't listen to you when you start speaking about business. So a third party is always very powerful. So we use the third party strategy. I have one of my dumb lines call their prospect, edify me and pass the phone to me. And then I do the invite to the presentation and it works like magic, right? Now, I don't have an upline here anymore. So what I do, I use one of my dumb lines and I edify them and I pass the phone to them because I have some difficult prospects also that wouldn't respect me or give me the time of day. But when I edify someone else, like I have actually one of my team members who I saw pop up on the call just now, Genevieve Roban, who's a brand new 15% Silver Magnolia. I edified her to the max yesterday. Yes, congratulations, Genevieve. I, I edified her to the max yesterday to one of my seniors from the military. He was my boss in the military, my senior. And I edified her to him and I passed the phone to her and she had him confirm for the, for the presentation. You know, I've been behind this guy for two years. <laughs> so it works, that strategy works perfect. Don't try to be the best salesman, the best talker, anything like that, no. You just wanna help the person to be able to get to a point where they could at least take a look at your opportunity or your product, that's it. Don't try to be the best at anything. Use the people that you have around you, yeah? So that's some of the strategies that I've utilized in the development of the business here, and it's been working uh, quite fine thus far, by God's grace. Wow, it's been working very well, Clifton. Um, Amrath Orchid, 321% in your business, numerous 18s, 15s, and so on. This is what's working wonderfully. Your seven steps to um, success um, has, has been wonderful. So start off with that excitement, and then you know, you're ending up with what you would call a cold call party. So that contact list that you ask your new person to bring on board, they meet on a Saturday in the circle and everyone calls on that contact list. And because everyone else is calling and talking, the other people feel jeered on, motivated that, let me make my call. So you're not just like in your living room or on your own trying to call 25, 25 people it. and feeling a little bit squeamish or, you know, or, and the person said they're not interested in going to call another one. It can be quite daunting, but when you're doing it in a group and everyone's calling like you're in a call center, you're all going to just yes. be egged on and energized. And I can see why that cold call party, which I think Brian Carruthers, you know, touched on as well. You know, I can see how Correct. it works very, very well. So definitely fantastic. So guys, I hope you got that. And definitely don't quit the biggest one in capital letters, you know, and your testament to that, that why you should never quit. Because those sort of challenges would knock most people for six. But, you know, well done to you. <laughs> so Clifton, yeah. what, what other tips and advice can you share with us? And do you have any secrets 
Clifton to your success? Or was everything out in the open? Okay, so tips and advice. I really believe that this business is more than just uh, financial freedom and uh, time freedom, but it's really about who we become as individuals. You know, so one of my greatest tips, which is what has kept me also, is personal development. You would find that the more you grow as an individual, the more your business grows. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, presently I'm reading John Maxwell, Developing the Leader Within You. That's a book that I'm on right now. And, uh, you know, that book taught me that your income could never supersede your personal development. So some of us are trying to achieve new levels in this business and for no reason we could find ourselves there. Maybe we need to go back to school a little bit, right? Personal development is key. Maybe we need to learn something new, you know, something needs to grow within us so then we can move to that level in the business. So one tip would definitely be personal development. Find a good book, maybe recommended by your upline because your upline is your upline and they have some more experience than you would have in the business. So they may recommend a good book for you to read, you know, uh, so read, read, watch the videos and you personally develop as an individual. So that's one, of, that's one of my greatest tips that I could actually share with you guys because the amount of information that I have inside of me from reading all these different books that I've read and listening to all these one-hour videos, you know, with uh, Les Brown and Jim Rohn and Brian Carruthers, Zig Ziglar, you know, it's uh, Michael Klaus. It, it's so many of them. Uh, it, it really, really, really helps. Another tip is becoming a product of the product. You guys, it would be very difficult for you to be able to, you know, really market these products that you, are, you have to someone else if you're not using any products yourself. If, if, I, if I bring my products out here that my wife and my children and I use, you know, I can't finish show you guys all of them <laughs> on this call. It's, it's, it's a whole lot. We use the products and every new product that comes out, we, you know, we try the product. So that we could be a testimony, we could tell persons about the product. So be a product of the product. That's another tip that I can give. Another tip is to be professional. We're not hustlers. Please, people, we're not hustlers. I am not doing this business just to make a dollar today. I'm building a legacy for my family. That's what I'm doing. So if you just focused on making a dollar today to just pay a bill, then you're already in problems, all right? You, you must see years down the road. So be very professional. The way that you present yourself, your dress, you know, your grooming. Uh, well, obviously, you need to be smelling good all the time. The way you speak to persons, everything. I'll tell you this. I took my children to the park. By the way, FM is all that I do now. Right? I walked away from my full-time uh, job since 2015 and fully pursued FM. This is my only engagement. This is how I take care of my family now. Thank you very much, Fitz. And uh, so with that, uh, you know, we have that time freedom. So my children are being homeschooled by my lovely wife also. And uh, I had the privilege of taking them up to the park when everybody else is rushing to work on a Friday morning. You know, we were at the park. And I met this lovely lady by the park, mature lady, nice car, you know, dressed properly. And uh, I simply ask her, hi, how are you doing? Are you into fragrances? She says, yes, yeah, I, I love fragrances, actually. And we had a nice little chat, long and short of the story, because of the professional approach and all of the education that I gave her. Just before I came onto the Zoom call, she just came and purchased three fragrances from me in the amount of $1,000. That's about 100 pounds. Right? That, that's a purchase that someone just made who I met two days ago. Right? And just, you know, so at the level of professionalism, you know, I had my coffee beans. I told her I'm not going to allow her to sample more than four or five fragrances at one time. You know, coffee beans is there. The catalog is there. I took my time with her. I spent 45 minutes with her. 45 minutes. And she says, I love, 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 love what I saw here today. Give me this, give me this, and give me this. <laughs> you know? So be very professional, people. That's another tip that I could give. And I mean, there's so many tips that I could give. Huh? 
but uh, you got three, and uh, yes. <laughs> the secret, the secret um, fits. What is the secret to success, guys? I I learned uh, a little while ago that there's actually the secret is is that it's no secret. The secret to success is that is that there is no secret. The information is already out there. The testimonies are out there. Look at a fine gentleman like uh, Fitzgerald Mensah, a dynamic leader. That's, that's the secret to success right there. He's in your face. It's no secret. He's talking to you all the time. He's giving you information. He's helping you to build your business, get up to where he is and beyond where he is. There's no secret. I, I'm here. There's no secret. This is me. <laughs> there is no secret to success. Follow the proven system. That's it. It's no secret. Wow, Clifton. I mean, I'm, I'm just blown away, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just blown away. That was absolutely fantastic. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on that um, shortly. Um, thank you, everyone who's been on board. I'm sure you're all captivated. I'll just go to the gallery view. I'm just looking at everyone's faces. People are nodding. Everyone is quiet. People, you know, I can see the attention. I can see the smiles that you're really just hitting home. Um, you know, and, and, and that's wonderful, Clifton, because we, we just instantly connect with you, you know, and that's what it's about. This business is about connecting with people and, you know, you've got such an easy manner. You're, you're very easy to connect with. Let me go to the questions now. Let's see what people are chatting about. I can see quite a few on the list. I know people have been typing away. Um, so let me start. Let me see if I can go to the top. Just bear with me. And all right, where are we? Um, just give me a moment. <laughs> oh, I want to try and catch all the questions. <laughs> where are we? <laughs> That's PCs for you, in it anyway. All right, let me read what I've got. Okay. Um, okay. Um, from Patrick um, Clifton, I've had a number of people in the Caribbean interested in FM but the first hurdle always seems to be the shipping cost. Your story has just inspired me to inspire them. You've hooked me on FM again. So that's from Patrick. Wow. That's a wonderful. Wow. Um, Chizoba, she's, I think Chizoba is referring to, she said, what do you, what, basically, what do they, if they're not willing to be registered? So I'm not sure if she's meaning if you've got new prospects and they're not willing to be registered. So I don't know, Chizoba, is that what you meant? Could you just, could you just, um, open that question up for me a little bit. Just type that. Have, have I got that right there? Are you talking about a new prospect who's not willing to be registered? I just want to make sure I've got that, that question right there. So I'll come back to that. Um, Titsitsu um, said, thank you, Clifton. Um, success is not a skill. It's an attitude. I love this. Um, yes. Amina Timothy says, um, Brian Carruthers, his system is fantastic. Um, Nen says, um, don't quit. Um, Pamela Leonard, a wonderful compliment to you, Clifton. Such an inspirational gentleman. So that's very nice. So that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank there. you. Thank you. And um, I'm determined to try and get to the top here. Hang on. I know we've got some more. <laughs> oh, when I work out, um, so I'll, I'll work it out there. I'm just trying to scroll and get the questions there, but not having so much luck. If anyone's got any other questions, I'm missing just the ones from the top. So... If you've got any more, just, just let me know and scroll up on there. Or if you've got a hand, let me look at the gallery view as well. Let's see if anyone's got any hands raised. Guys, I mean, this, I mean you've heard the Zoom, you've heard the interview. and we, We're talking about the real deal here. Um, this is a person that is fully, fully determined. Um, you know, if you've got anything you want to ask, please post. Okay, we've got um, from Amina, um, Clifton Ryan, what an inspiration. She's, she's asking, how long ago did you start using the Brian Carruthers system? Uh, that, that would be, I learned the system probably like about 18 months ago. I learned the system. I never really started applying that system fully. We started doing some business uh, with the system, but fully applied the system after I returned from London because that trip was really, really a, a real, real inspiration for me being at the, the conference, you know, so I really went back into it. I, I started reading the book over again and I started implementing things immediately. So just about, I would say 11 to 12 months. Wow. 11 to 12 months. Okay. For the, for using the system. Thank you for that, Clifton. Um, I can't seem to catch the earlier messages. So if you want to raise your hand or type um, very quickly, please do that for me. Um, Amina just yeah. responded saying I'm in the same boat. 
I've read it now, the Brian Carruthers system. And I'm going, Excellent. I'm going to hit it hard. She said hard. With two <laughs> I know she means business. And Pam Stevens yes. says, thank you, Clifton. Well done for the perseverance. And Rose has got a, I've got a hand wow. raised with Rose. So I'm just going to um, unmute Rose once I find it. Let me see where Rose is. Where are you hiding, Rose, so I can see you? But while you're looking for Rose there, I must say, as you mentioned, Pam Stevens, you know, there's uh, a number of persons, uh, like Pam Stevens herself, you know, has been a great encouragement to us also, you know, and uh, we've learned a lot from you guys, definitely, Pam, and we do appreciate what we've learned from you guys. It, it's helped us here. It's helped the team here also. Um, even uh, Alicia Alote, with our collaboration we did in Trinidad, Alicia, big shout out to you. Uh, Alicia, when she came uh, March this year, uh, what she exposed us to with the uh, facials and the mini manicures and whatnot, we copied it immediately and we got some success from that, you know, and that helped to generate some more activity within the team. So thank you very much, Alicia, also, because I'm seeing you on the call. So thank you very much. I appreciate you highly. <laughs> oh, thank you, Clifton. Uh, that, that was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I found Rose now. So, Rose, I'm going to unmute your mic. If anyone else wants to ask a question, you don't, have to, you don't just have to type. I can unmute you and you can and speak to Clifton. You may just want to even say hi to Clifton. So, I'm muting you now, Rose. The floor is yours. Well, I'm, I'm unmuting you, but you're not unmuting for some reason. <laughs> unmute. Okay. Okay, there all you right. go, Rose. It's all yours. All right, good, good. Clifton, I just want to say thank you very much for um, this evening. I personally have been really encouraged by what you've had to say because I, I also hit a very, a, a, a plateau. I, I came to a plateau and it's as if I couldn't, I can't go any further. Team members have disappeared and a whole bunch of discouragement and whatever. But I haven't quit. I'm still sitting in here. But listening to you this evening, it has really encouraged me and it's kind of given me the push or a kick to pick myself up, brush my bottom off and start again. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> for excellent. Excellent. Yes, you're very much welcome, Rose. And one note I could give you, Rose, I've learned this in the industry of network marketing also. Uh -huh. And uh, it, it's something that simply says this, the persons uh, that took you to the level that you are mm -hmm. may not necessarily be the persons to take you to the level that you uh, need to be. Yeah. So people are going to come and people are going to go. The, yeah. The most important thing is that you stay, you remain. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah? you. Thank you very Excellent. much. Yeah. Yeah, thank no you, Rose. Thank, thank you. you. Fantastic, thank you. Rose. Thank you. Just going to yeah. mute your mic. If um, I'll just wait, um, while I'm just reading through some of the chat, um, if you if you need to want to ask Clifton a question, raise your hand or type quickly. Um, Stephanie Gales says, thank you. Great advice. Um, some of my team will benefit from this. So thank you for that. For that You're welcome, Stephanie. Um, Emily um, says, well done, Clifton. And quitting is not an option. After listening to your story, she just says, basically, thank you, Clifton. Um, you're inspirational. So there you have it. You're um, welcome. You're welcome, guys, man. what can I say? We've had the dynamic, the Amaranth Orchid, the first one, first Amaranth Orchid in the Western Hemisphere from Trinidad and Tobago. You've done us all proud, Clifton. Your challenges are literally incredible, which some of us who are used to, um, you know, having the amenities on our doorstep, like the branch and, you know, everything, at, at, at basically at our disposable to hear some of the challenges you went through. I just find it absolutely incredible. And I feel even more inspired that you were able to overcome all of these, even after both of your uplines left and numerous disadvantages and on your last legs, when you really felt, probably felt like quitting, you managed to fly yourself over to the UK just to get that inspiration. And for me, that just sums up everything. So for you, Clifton, you deserve your success. You deserve your Amaranth Orchid. You and your team are much <laughs> more because you have put right. in the work. You don't make excuses. You put in the effort. You stick to your reason why. And you do, you've done whatever it takes. So we salute you, Clifton. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go back to the gallery view. I'm sure a lot of people are just in awe of what you've said. <laughs> And you know what? I mean, we we, I mean, we right just back to keep you, fighting another day just because of you. We just don't want to quit now. We just want to push that a little bit more just because of you, thousands of miles away in the Caribbean. Congratulations to you, Clifton. Thank you very yes. much for coming on the Zoom. Thank you, everybody that's joined me again for part two. So you've, we've had two wonderful hours together, but I, I'm sure you're saying this 
absolutely two, probably two of the best hours you've had this week. You know, I know the week is just starting, but you know, we'll pick up all the golden nuggets. So thank you, Clifton. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Take care. Enjoy your evening and we'll catch you. And firstly, before I go, I just want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Have a lovely Christmas with your families. If I don't get to catch yes. up with you all again, I've enjoyed doing these, um, you know, exclusive interviews. Um, I, I started doing them just so we could just get a little bit closer to those superstars, you know, because they're one of us and we want to learn from them. And everybody in FM is open. So I just bring on the celebrities and it doesn't matter. They don't need to be topping the game. But if I find somebody that I feel that we can learn something for, from and can motivate us, I want to interview them and get us on a Zoom so that we can learn from there. So Merry Christmas to you all. Had a wonderful Christmas. I'll see you all in the new year. Take care and catch you next time, yeah? And don't forget, don't quit. Thank you. <laughs> see you later. Don't quit. Bye, everybody. Take care. Okay, guys, thank you very much. You. Yes, thanks Bye -bye. for having me. Bye-bye.